So the question in that exchange was, what box do the Middle Easterners check? Oh, no idea. But of course, everyone knows the answer. If you want to get into competitive school, the best bet for those Middle Easterners would be to identify as black. Yeah, you heard that right, people. Tucker Carlson actually said with a straight face on his show that the obvious racial identity for getting into competitive schools for Middle Easterners is to check off the black box. And if that sounds completely bananas to you, that's because it is. Tucker is notoriously known for completely backwards takes on race and frankly, just about everything else. And this latest statement is no different. Here, Tucker is likely referencing the latest fight in the Supreme Court over affirmative action. You know, that incredibly important set of procedures designed to stop institutions like universities from discriminating against you because of your race, ethnicity, and so on. Yeah, apparently Tucker isn't a fan and uses these statements to prove that affirmative action can be rigged in favor of people of color over the greater racial majority, white people. But Tucker isn't the only one that is less than thrilled about affirmative action, and unfortunately, it's coming from inside the house. I didn't go to racially diverse schools, um, but there were educational benefits. And I'd like you to tell me expressly, when a parent sends a kid to college, that they, they don't necessarily send them there to have fun or feel good or anything like that. They send them there to learn physics or chemistry or whatever they're studying. So tell me what the educational benefits are. Yup. That was Justice Clarence Thomas literally asking for clarification as to what educational benefits could possibly come from diversifying educational institutions. Despite having that very thing explained to him literally five seconds prior by the North Carolina Solicitor General, Ryan Park. Diversity of all kinds leads to, quote, a deeper and richer learning environment, uh, leads to more creative thinking and exchange of ideas, and critically reduced bias between people of different backgrounds and not solely different racial backgrounds. Apparently, conservative values come ahead of any perceived racism or prejudice for this justice. And during those same oral arguments a few days ago, during the challenge against the University of North Carolina's race-conscious admissions process, he said he doesn't have a clue what diversity means. I've heard the word uh, diversity quite a few times, and I don't have a clue what it means. Uh, it seems to mean everything for everyone. Like, for real, for real. He said this in front of people. All across the United States, race-neutral policies have been taking place, including in progressive states like California. The problem is race neutrality isn't a thing when racism is still systemic. But organizations like Students for Fair Admissions want race to be removed from admissions altogether, claiming they believe that racial classifications and preferences in college admissions are unfair, unnecessary, and unconstitutional. Yeah. What's most unfortunate about all of this is how different races and ethnicities are being literally pitted against each other in this battle. More Asian Americans, for example, are increasingly joining conservatives to remove affirmative action in school admissions, putting pressure on some in the community to publicly declare online they are not one of those people. I attended Harvard twice uh, for undergrad and for business school, and I fully support affirmative action and need to address this false narrative that Asians don't want affirmative action. Uh, I resent my race being hijacked um, to make a case for ending diversity. The Asian American admissions experience has been a primary focus of the current Supreme Court lawsuit, which I really resent because it's been orchestrated by Edward Bloom, a white man who has a track record of wanting to end diversity and inclusion in other areas of American life as well. The Harvard Asian American Association and the Asian Alumni Association are both pro-affirmative action. Harvard cannot create a campus that is diverse enough to fulfill its educational mission without considering race as just one factor among many factors. I mean, we've seen massive declines in minority admissions at universities when affirmative action is eliminated. And that is super important to state because so many fought so hard to get us to the place where we are today. And so many people like my own parents have benefited greatly from affirmative action being implemented in 1961, giving people of color equal opportunities in universities all across the country. You can find me on Instagram and TikTok. I'm Constanza Eliana for Rebel HQ.